How's it going? So today I'm actually going to be talking to you about something different than health. I'm actually going to be talking to you about more towards on the mistakes that a lot of people make in regards when they're looking for a job after graduating from university. So without further ado, let's get on to the first point which is going to be resume formatting. A lot of people are constantly re re revising their resumes in different ways and sometimes it may be a little bit too flashy and sometimes it may be very conservative and doesn't have a lot of good information. So one of the mistakes I actually made was having using a old format in regards to uh, my resume. So an old format I used was something in high school. It was saying something like, okay, have your objective here, actually have your uh, address here, and then list uh, your little skills and your education and awards. And that didn't really help me in regards to uh, finding a job in the tech industry. So what I had to do was I had to ask friends uh, from uh, that were already in the field and just asking them, hey, can you give me feedback? Hey, can you actually help me with my resume? What can I work on and what can I change? What can I add in here? And I just got a whole bunch of feedback and after that, my resume looked a lot nicer, looked way more presentable and that was one of the things that allowed me to get more uh, follow-ups after I applied for jobs. So the first mistake is not having the proper resume format for your industry. So for tech, skill set, including your skill set, what languages you know, like programming languages, and also like what other skills you may have in regards to working with hardware. Because I I work I majored in computer engineering, so I got the hardware side and I actually got the software side also. So the second point is actually going to be uh, not socializing or networking with a lot of people uh, than, uh, than you want or than you're able to. So with that, a lot of people have all these opportunities to go to job fairs, have these opportunities to network with different people. And people was like, a lot of people was like, yeah, um, here's my resume. And you don't really, you don't really spark a really great connection. And one one thing I would recommend is just sparking and including a lot of real, uh, you know, connection and towards the person you're speaking to. So for example, let's say I'm talking to a a recruiter or some from a job fair, and I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. And then he would look at my resume, and then I was like, okay, uh, yeah, I have this skill, I have this skill. But you know, and then I, you would have to ask the right questions. Also, it's like, so I would ask like, so how's it? What is it like working at this industry for yourself? And then you kind of, from there you kind of grab, see which points you can kind of relate to and then kind of build on from there. And it kind of builds that connection so when later on when they actually, you know, see your resume, they're like, oh, yeah, that, that was actually that one guy, um, Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan's right there. Yeah, we, we talked about it, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Because constantly a lot of people are getting resumes here and there, and it's just a whole bunch of resumes. So just wanted to, say that you know just network, network with other people more often and the third point is actually uh third mistake is a lot of people actually blindly send the resumes to different companies for example submitting your online application for different companies so my one of the mistakes i actually made was i had my resume down and it looked nice and next you know i was just like well, i was like all right oh a job app i have 15 job apps i was like okay attach resume send or oh, touch another resume, send. So it's just like simple, I touch another resume, send. And the biggest um, drawback from this was that I got no results at all. None. The reason why I didn't get any results from just sending my resume so many times to different people was that I didn't really cater to their skill set or the requirements that they were looking for. So what I had to do was that, you know, I had to get my resume, look at the qualifications, and then make slight edits in regards to catering to the specifications and what the company was actually looking for. And with that, I was able to get some phone interviews and I was able to get some follow-ups with them and actually have the interview. So those are the three mistakes that a lot of people actually make in regards to their job search. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. And if you like any more of these job search, job tips, or 
on these type of videos, uh, let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.